Hi, I'm Natalia Kern and welcome to Q&A Wednesdays. Okay, the main question that has been highlighted through and through um, for the past week, it was sugar, how to kill sugar cravings, what sugar is bad, what sugar is good for you, and why is it bad if it's bad for you? Well, um, my stepdaughter came back from school during the holidays bringing this jar, it's a cookie mix. And when I saw it, all I saw it was lots of sugar, M&Ms in there, and uh, bleached flour. And that's the cookie mix that they teach to make kids in school. So, of course, we didn't make it. We just uh, keep it as a souvenir or as a reminder <laughs> that you shouldn't eat it. And we, uh, we're going to cover sugar and why is it bad for you. Well, first of all, thank you for your question. Second of all, let's cover the major problems we have with sugar. First of all, sugar, I consider it as a legal drug because it's allowed everywhere, but it's so bad for you. It leads to obesity in children and adults. It spikes up your blood sugar, it causes uh, blood, bad blood pressure, high blood pressure, it causes diabetes in children and adults, and um, it causes aging, it causes acne, and you gain weight from it, basically. So I don't see anything good with it, for except of taste, it's delicious, but the good thing is, your body, your brain, doesn't know the difference between natural sugar and processed sugar. It just craves something sweet. Our natural DNA craves something sweet. We like it and our body responds well to it. So the key is picking natural sugar and the products that don't contain, don't, don't contain any added sugar. Meaning, if it's a fruit, like let's say preserve, um, berry fruit preserve, it says sugar, no sugar added. That means it doesn't have any processed sugar added to the mixture. It just has um, natural fruit or berries. Uh, when you bake something, make sure you don't add anything to it. Um, or it's minimum, up to four grams of sugar. Now, there are sugar substitutes or alternatives I don't like any substitutes because they are chemicals, unless it's stevia and uh, succinate. I like that because it's natural, it's very low glycemic, so it doesn't spike up your sugar. So when you crave something sweet, try to go for berries or fruit, it's natural. Our body, our natural response to this is uh, good because we're meant to eat it. We, we weren't meant to eat processed sugar or processed anything. And that's why our body responds really badly to it. However, fruit and berries are good. So it also contains, well, it contains natural sugar. It contains antioxidants, it contains fiber, it contains vitamins. They are so good and vital to our bodies. So pick fruit and berries instead of that. But whenever you go for something that has already in the ingredients, go for natural um, sweetener and uh, go for up to four grams of sugar. That way your blood sugar won't be spiked up, it won't affect your moods, it won't make you fatigued and lethargic in a couple of hours and you will feel full of energy and um, you will look and feel good.